Happy October 30th, y'all. I have my bridal chucky shirt on. When y'all find these videos and y'all in the comments like, girl, I'm there or I've been there, that was me. It really feels like I have friends that get me. I feel so seen. Not in a, girls always want, a, a, want attention type of way, but I mean like really seen. And that's why I wanted to talk about this topic because your family really can't see you the way you envision you. It's time to reinvent yourself. You know it's time to reinvent yourself because you've been thinking about it. You're tired of being the girl that's unkept, the girl that's, you know, not fun, not a joy to be around, the girl that never have the money to do something fun for herself or just pour into herself. You have to tell yourself it's because, well, I don't care about looks like that. Well, I don't care about makeup. Well, I don't care about having my hair done. I think it's time to step out of that. And I think you've been thinking about it, but you're, not only are you trying to convince yourself that you don't want to be that type of person, you don't want to be that type of girl that is vain and I don't care about my looks like that, but it's because it's easier not to care. It's easier to stay comfortable as that girl that your family has always known. We all have a family member or family members that like, girl, you're going to always have a bad attitude. Girl, you're going to always be like that. Girl, you always was overweight. You can decide to change yourself today, right now. And no matter what that looks like to your family or friends, like, oh, you're trying to change up. She then got a little bougie. It's not about that. It's about loving yourself at your highest version of yourself. And if you don't look at yourself and you're in awe, then it's time to reinvent yourself. And that's okay. It's, it can be scary because honestly, when I first started changing things that I no longer liked about myself, because that's what it comes down to. It's not, it's not even about anyone else. I'm looking at myself. I don't like my way. I'm looking at myself like, girl, you used to be the girl that keep her happy all the time. Now you just don't care. I got sick of that. I got sick of being the person who had to depend on someone else to fund something for me, buy something for me. I'm like, I got to get my own money. It's time to reinvent yourself. It can be scary because it's like, who is this person? <laughs> who is this? Because you've been, a, you've been a certain way your whole life and it's comfortable. So when you start changing certain things, like keeping your head deep, going to the gym, going on walks, changing how you speak, changing how you carry yourself, it feels uncomfortable and super unfamiliar like oh my god you feel like a fake or in a sense but you're not a fake you're growing you're evolving i feel like think about this with friends and family who think they know you is they think you changing up when in reality you you are but you're supposed to and I've noticed that since I started my journey about two years ago, a year and a half ago, I'm like, people think you're changing up or you're acting a certain way or you're changing, but you're supposed to. And every time I go back around certain people, I'm like, they're the exact same. And that's not cute. It's not cute to stay the same. And I don't know why people be like, oh, I don't want to get money because I don't want to change up. People change up when they get money. Maybe so. They wouldn't be able to get where they were if they didn't evolve, if they didn't change up in a sense. I don't want, especially if it's not in a good way. I was on here smoking and drinking and just riding around, wasting my early 20s for what? To stay the same? To stay on that level with y'all? A lot of people want you to stay on that same level with them. And my mindset started changing before I started changing. Every time I went around people that I've been going around for years and years, I'm like, you think really ignorant. I'm thinking it in my head though. Like, this don't align with me anymore. I don't want to smoke anymore. In a minute, <laughs> the minute you stop doing the things that no longer serve you or you it just start clicking like, I don't want to do this no more. Them people going to stop hanging around you. So all your, your little click that smoke, the minute you stop smoking, they going to fade away. They gonna, and I don't even know if that's purposely or not, but y'all, you're going to start seeing that y'all have nothing else in common, but being dope heads. Not literally. <laughs> we, you know, we're lit. Y'all don't have nothing else in common. I remember when I first started doing hair and I didn't have as much time to smoke weed and drink and ride because it took like a year for me to start taking hair like really, really seriously. And when I say seriously, I mean like look at it like a, you know, a career, a job, 
So I stopped just canceling on clients. I stopped being unprofessional or whatever. And I was like, y'all, I can't drink this weekend. Like, I got to work Monday. Y'all, I can't hang. I can't ride around all day because I got to work. I got to show up for my client. I can't cancel on her because, you know, I'm too drunk to get up. I'm too tired to get up. And people started, you, you feel that energy. They like, you can sense it. At least I could. And every time you go around them, they want they they got negative energy. They got they they got more problems than they got solutions or something to change their circumstance. And it started to just for me, it was just like I can't. I love you, but I can't do this because energy transfers so so easily. You're around people that always think negative and wonder why you're all used to always thinking negative. You're around nothing but negative people. Every time you do get a positive idea or a positive thought, they shoot it down because they don't believe in themselves. And now they projecting that belief on you. Me, I didn't grow up with a whole bunch of people that I looked up to. In my head, there wasn't anyone to look up to. And that's even just like crazy to even think about. I didn't have anyone to look up to. I only had people I did not want to be like. So I got this person, mm, I don't want to be like that. This person, Definitely don't want to be like that. So that's what I had to keep me going, to keep me getting to the next level. I'm like, okay, I have to do something different. You have to break that curse. And if you're depending on, you know, family's opinion of you for your reason of not changing, that's not a good reason. They don't know you. You're an adult now, so they don't know you. I honestly feel like that. I feel like family, because they watched you grow up into a woman, they feel like they still know you, but a lot of times they don't. That's why when like killers get arrested or people commit, you know, people be like, oh, she would never do that. But people don't really, really know you once you're an adult. They don't know what goes on inside your brain. They don't know how you really feel. That's just what it is. People don't know you, only you know you. And you know that you're ready to reinvent yourself and become the person that you dreamed of being. Just because you're around a, per a lot of people that you know, don't care about what they look like or don't care about how they speak to people or have a nasty attitude. You do not, you do not have to be that third person to keep that going. It feels uncomfortable. You being the all one left out, but that's okay. That's all right. God didn't put, you know, us chosen ones here to be like everyone else. If you're trying to be like everyone else, you're going to get the same results everyone else got. What everybody else doing around you? Do they got anything that you just like, oh my God, probably not, huh? They're probably not someone that you should even be, you know, basing your life upon. Stop having that old way of thinking, oh, my mom said it, so it must be right. My grandparents said, oh, it must be right. They were born in a different time. You talk, you telling your parents or your grandparents who were born in the 1950s and 60s, 1970s, that you want to become a YouTuber or you want to do hair full time or you want to travel the world for a year they can't imagine that that's too crazy in their time that was not a thing people love to blame their parents oh the way the, the way I, I talk like this because of my mama i carry myself like this because of my mama don't get me wrong i'm not under playing anyone's trauma or anyone's life experience but a after a certain age and time we have to blame ourselves for what our life looks like you've already had the thought that you know girl i don't want to be like this no more so now it's time to change it's time to step into that whatever that looks like if you want to be the girl that you know keep our head did start you know start doing some if you can do hair start doing diy hairstyles if you can't you know start make sure you put a little money aside so you can keep your hair did on a schedule you, you want to learn how to do makeup because you just love how girls look when they have their makeup on and they always look put together then you need to start, you know, taking those steps to watch YouTube videos and learn how to do your makeup. If you don't want to be a makeup girl, you know, invest in your skincare. Even if you're a makeup girl, invest in your skincare. I'm a makeup girl to the fullest. I don't have on makeup today, but I had to get on here and talk about this while it was on my mind, y'all. I couldn't even wait. So don't let no one discourage you that, oh, I don't got to do all that and wear makeup. So... I don't have to, I want to. It makes me feel my best. People that go out their way to try to make you feel insecure about something that makes you feel good or insecure, always remember that. People only keep pointing out things that they're insecure about, you know? And for some reason, people love to do that. Go out their way to make you feel away. 
you they're just insecure i'm gonna tell you sister you ready to step into the version of you that goes to church that has a relationship with god it's time to step into that you don't have to go full force because what i have learned you don't go from doing something for 25 years to overnight oh i don't cuss anymore i keep my hair did i keep my nails did i you know stay in the gym that does not happen overnight everything is a journey but i bet you if you start today and not wait to 2025 let's not wait to january if you start today and not wait to 2025 imagine where you'll be in a year from now october 30th next year you will be completely different and your family won't recognize you but that's the point but you're gonna feel good you're gonna look good you're gonna be good <sighs> Happy October 30th, y'all. I have my bride, bride of Chucky shirt on. <laughs> I think it's so cute for the bed. I just wanted to see if some words of encouragement today, y'all, about don't be afraid to reinvent yourself just because it's unfamiliar or it's scary. God got you. I got your bed too. If you like this video, make sure that you like and comment down below if y'all resonated with this video in any way, shape, or form. And I'll see y'all in the next video.